Greetings, weirdlings. I'm Danny Danger, and this is my pull list for August 6th. Happy August. It's not sweltering here. I jinxed it, did I? Oh, poop. Welcome to desert Texas. In the last issue of Alex Plus Auto, we saw the rules and regulations of regarding androids get really strict and harsh. And now everybody's asking themselves in issue number eight, is it even safe for Otto to stay with Alex? We can't separate. We just get to know each other. Grandma just found out. Did anyone ever wonder what happened to Jonah after he betrayed the Carlisle family? We're gonna find out in Lazarus number 10. I can't imagine that the other families are really taking a warming to him. I mean, how do you trust a traitor? Black Widow number nine and Punisher number nine come out this week and they're a crossover. I'm really excited to see how Nathan Edmondson mushes their two stories together. It looks like Nat and Frank are caught in a situation where they have to work together to survive. And I've always really liked the two of them working together because all the other Avengers sort of look at Frank like he's this animal because he's so violent. But Nat herself has a really violent past, so she sort of understands and sympathizes with Frank, even though she doesn't agree with his methods. So I'm really interested to see how this chemistry works. Javier Polito is back in She-Hulk number seven and all is right with the world, except that Hank Pym is hiding a secret and that her secretary is in mortal peril. But other than that, all is right in the world. You guys, Strangers in Paradise, the kids version number one comes out. All the feels are belong to me, Tiny Kachu, Little Francine, Itty Bitty David, and Silly Freddy Femur. Carrie Moore, you have my heart. Maybe Kachu is like illegally selling candy on the playground instead of the other thing that she does. The graphic novel adaptation of Neil Gaiman's Graveyard Book comes out this week and I'm absolutely going to pick it up because hello, Neil Gaiman but I haven't actually read the book. Have you? Tell me about it. No spoilers. And also, The Sixth Gun, Days of the Dead number one, Trees number four, Green Arrow number 34, Moon Knight number six, and Invincible 113, because somebody pointed out that after we did the video about Mark being raped, I didn't really follow up on the story. I've been sort of keeping up with it and looking at the covers, and it looks like there's just a bunch of punching and smashing, and they're really just glossing right over it. But hey, I can't make the call unless I've read it, so way to keep me on my toes, you guys. Be sure to like this video, share and subscribe. Tell me what's on your pull list down in the comments below because I love schmoozing about comics with you guys. A special thanks as always goes out to Austin Books and Comics cause that's where we film and that's where we buy our comics. I wrote that song just now. <laughs>